All five lights are on. And we go green in Monaco. Good start from Vern. Decent start from Roland as he tries to get up the inside. He said he wanted to lunge it at turn one. I think he was joking. And he's been fairly sensible into the first corner at Sandebot. Then they'll start cascading down the hill towards the hairpin right-hander. And Roland is under a bit of pressure here. Buemi goes to the inside. It's three wide. Buemi very sensibly gets out of it. Felipe Massa trying to get around the outside. Everybody safely through the first three corners, which is good to see. But Jean-Eric Vern leads. Verline second. Roland third. Fourth is Massa. Fifth is Buemi. Amy, sixth is Alexander Sims, so no change at the opening corner. Oh, lock up from Verline, he's thrown it away. Verline goes straight on at Sandebot and up into second place now goes Oliver Rowland. Felipe Massa goes past him as well. Sebastian Buemi's going to try and get the dummy, but he can't quite get it done. Take the loop, take the loop. So they're now sending Verline to the attack mode to try and recover some of those positions that he's thrown away from that tiny little lock up. Oh, that's wide from Alexander Sims. A little bit of a mistake, and Lin is right on the back of him. Here comes the Jaguar. It was a BMW around the outside the Costa. Right, right. Oh, what a move from the Costa. Absolutely fantastic. And I wonder if there was a little bit of a team play there where Sims held Lin up so that the Costa could get past. Well, that's an aggressive move from Stoffel Van Dorn to try and uh, get around the outside there of Alex Linden up into eight places and quite work out. That could put him under pressure from behind and Sam Bird looks to the inside. Lucas de Grassi's in there as well and Bird's got past de Grassi then in all of that melee and up into 10th place. Here comes the, the Virgin car. Super late Bird. from Bird up the inside of Stoffel Van Dorn and that's ninth place now. Van Dorn is getting held up here. De Grasse is going to try and go around the outside. Is this going to be into the wall? He's no, it. he's done it. What a move from Lucas De Grasse. Bird again. Bird again. This time scything up the inside of his former teammate Alex Lin. And up into eighth place. He wasn't even on attack mode. And then to the outside. On attack mode goes Lucas De Grasse. Is this one going to work out for him as well? Yes. Lin's going to push him. He's done it twice now, Lucas De Grasse. He likes that little move. Side by side, Van Dorn trying to get past Lin and back him into 10th place. And he's he in front. Yeah. And now Freitz goes for Lin, not into the back. Oh, into the back. Through he goes. Bold stuff from Robin Freitz. And Lin loses out as well to his teammate Mitch Evans. Well, Tara's got a puncture, I think, or damage. I think it's Maxi Gunter, it's Maxi Gunter but you're right, side. straight on. And it is Maxi Gunter. He's got and damage he's got on the front and the back. He's it got looks damage like. everywhere, I yeah. think. Full course yellow coming from Scott Elkins, race director. Race control, Everybody has to slow down to 50 kilometers per hour. Here's Vern no leading idea. the race as we go green flag racing again with 17 minutes plus a lap to go. Oh, round the outside, slam! Slam, bam, and that's Degrassi out. What happened there? It, it looked like Sims cut across. I don't know if Sims got hit. Sims goes to activation oh, zone. Degrassi's car is in all kinds of trouble. Yeah, the race is over for Left Degrassi. Left front suspension damage. Here's a look at Sam Bird. What's he been up to now? Oh, De Costa. There we go. The way Sam Bird made that pass, he didn't leave De Costa any choice to go around the outside. Let's see what Mitch Evans was up to. Oh, that that's a late. That's fantastic. Was <laughs> lovely, wasn't it? Well how done, Mitch Evans. How he's managed to get the inside line there, I do not know. We've got the car rotated. Oh, we've got oh. a collision, Robin Franks. Oliver, big da Alexander big damage. Sims. Yep, Franks is out. Oh, Championship that's be, leader. That's going to be safety car. Here's a look at what happened, coming down Sam into Bird Sander Vaught. He's gone to the inside. Oh, have they hit oh. before? Almost looks like they hit before, yeah. Surely that's it now for jean Eric Verne. There's no more overtaking opportunities. Evans has got him into sixth place past Sam Bird. A couple more corners. Massa's only got 1% left, Jack. Massa's on 1% of usable energy. You're right, Dario. Massa might not make it to the end of the E-Pre. Verne's on 1% as well. Towards the final corner they come. Crunching into the back. Verne goes for it, he can't do it. Verne comes out of the final corner. The streak is over. Vern wins for the second time this season in Formula E. Yeah, it was amazing. Obviously, I, I really wanted to win Paris, but uh, it was uh, it wasn't pretty bad for me. Paris, my home race, but uh, you know, it's kind of in France in here, and uh, 
Yeah, it feels amazing. I never had a podium in Monaco. I raced here a lot. I love this place. I love the city. And uh, yeah, to win here today means a lot to me. It's you know an incredible feeling. A look at the provisional results here in round nine of ABB Formula E. jean eric Verne breaks the string with his second victory of the season. Oliver Rowland, best performance for him in the series in second place. And Felipe Massa makes the podium for the home team. He'll be a very popular third place finisher. Pasco Verlaine tried right to the end and picks up the bonus point for fast lap. Followed by Sebastian Buemi, Antonio Felix da Costa, Mitch Evans, who had a great run from deep in the field at the start. Daniel Apt, Andre Lotterer, and Alexander Lin. Here's a look at the Drivers' Championship. jean eric Verne by five points over Andre Lotterer, who has a one-point advantage over Robin Treintz, who came in as the, as the championship leader. Then Antonio Felix da Costa, Lucas de Grassi. I mean, just look at those point spreads. I mean, <laughs> anybody could be in jean eric Verne's place sometime in the next four races. And in the team's championship, pretty easy. He has to cheat it with a great day, the race win, and the pole. So they now have a whopping 34-point lead over Envision Virgin. But it's tight between Virgin and Audi Sport. Just two points there. Mahindra Racing, BMW, and Andretti Motorsport dropped down from fourth to sixth.